welcome to Gemstone Tarot. This is your daily tarot for Tuesday, 24th of July 2018. Valley Pops joins us. Isn't her? Yeah, you're a little bit awake, aren't you? But you're just thinking about getting to sleep because it's too hot. And Leah is asleep in the wash basket. <laughs> she loves it. The smellier and skankier the wash basket, the better. She's like, mm, yeah, mm -mm. reveling in it. Ah. Tarot of the 78 doors. Tarot of the 78 cat flaps. Oh dear. Right. What do we need to know? What do we need to know, Valley Bobs? Sleep. That's what we need to know. Let's have a look. Oh, that's nice. How lovely is that? Oh. Ho, ho, ho. I sounded a bit like Father Christmas then, didn't I? I don't know where that's coming from. Okay. This is interesting energies. That's so cool. Two of Pentacles, look at that. That reminds me of a Technicolor, I think it's a 1950s film, is it called The Swimmer? There's this film where a guy goes across a town in America or something and he goes, using people's swimming pools all in the back gardens leave me a comment if you know which one that is you're a clever bunch i know a few of you are going to know it now i don't know where the door is here but i'm thinking the door is between the um air and the water two of pentacles opposing forces juggling sometimes this card comes up for me when it's to do with working out a side hustle of making money. We then have over here the Nine of Pentacles reversed and the Nine of Pentacles is being self-sufficient. Being able, you see this woman here is showing people in her very fashionable doorway here and this will be a place that she pays for herself, place that she owns. Quite why there's a mechanical golden bird there, I don't know, but it's interesting. I know why there is. What am I talking about? Okay. In the traditional Rider Waite and in the Morgan Greer and in loads of different ones, the woman who seem, is supposed to represent the sort of single happy woman, sisters doing it for themselves, has like a fancy coat or a beautiful dress and a bird of paradise usually to show some kind of magnificence, you know. That's why there's a bird. It's a nod to that. That's so clever. Right, this is the card of being independent, supporting yourself. That is the card of side hustles. That's in reverse. Five of Wands. I love the way they've done this. This is knocking down a brick wall. It's obstacles. It's a five. Five is a disruptive obstacle style type number. If you are wanting something on the side, whatever, whatever that may be, if you are making something which was on the side become the main event, sometimes juggling is not juggling two equal balls. <laughs> oh, the, the images that are going through my head, people. Okay, sometimes it's one big thing, one small thing, whatever. Okay, let's not go down that route. But you're juggling. Sometimes you have a full-time job and you have a side hustle that you do in the evenings. Sometimes that side hustle becomes successful or you enjoy it so much more than the full-time job, you want to swap them. It's that kind of thing. Confidence might be an issue and actually money might be an issue. Nine of Pentacles in reverse is sometimes not quite having enough financial independence to do what you want. Now, sometimes as well, that's a state of mind. Devil in reverse. Let's have a look at it in the upright. Ooh, God, look at that. Two people standing inside the pentagram. Most devil cards have a pentagram. 
and then cooking up this apparition. These cards are cool, aren't they? Devil is sometimes our shadow side. In this scenario, it can be just if your family are a family that thought you needed to always be very safe with money, that you needed to always be employed, and you're the kind of person who's starting to think, I can break down some walls here, there's something I like to do, almost in this kind of, this is quite pleasurable, this is something that feels nice, this is something that might feel right, this is a bit of an invitation to something on the side that could become more important. Then get the Wheel of Fortune. Nice. This is a seance, isn't it? On a wagon wheel table. Do you remember when, Han when Harry met Sally? I can't speak today. When Harry met Sally and uh, I can't remember the name of the actor. I'm doing well, aren't I? They have that argument. Carrie Fisher. Love Carrie Fisher. Carrie Fisher and not Billy Crystal but the other guy are having that argument, their first couple's argument over the wagon wheel coffee table. <laughs> Do you remember that? <laughs> That's what that reminds me of. Anyway, Wheel of Fortune in the upright. There may be some luck behind this. We are in the eclipse season anyway. We are also coming into Virgo season in September when I can kind of see an arc between all of this uh, shenanigans that we're going on with at the moment of Mercury retrograde, other planets in retrograde and um, full moon lunar eclipses and solar eclipses and all that stuff. We then come into the Virgo season at a sort of end of August and things are a lot more about collecting and harvest and manifesting, okay? It feels like this could be just an idea, I'm not sure. But don't crush your own dreams too early. Queen of Cups. This is almost like a genie with a lamp. That's amazing, isn't it? This person is calling up magic. Calling up that kind of inspiration that you need to make something inspirational work for you. And to have the courage, it is courage, and the gumption and the bravery, no matter what your fears might be about it, devil in reverse. <laughs> that card has come up so many times recently. We get not for you. Notice this is a fortune cookie with nope written on it in a game of chess. It may be for some of you that the side hustle is the thing and whatever it is you're locked down into is just not for you. And if you look over here, you've got this kind of doorway here or what in the 1970s in UK houses you would call a serving hatch. Yeah, love a serving hatch. It looks almost like it's boarded up or bricked up and there's that face in the middle. Maybe the nine to five is not for you or whatever the um, whatever your main thing is. Maybe the side hustle is more for you. Maybe the side hustle isn't for you and the nine to five is. I see it more as the side hustle is the thing, but you know, only you can know not for you. I love that card. Nope. Let's have a healing with the angels card. This is a really interesting reading. For some of you, that side hustle could also be like a study course or a university course or retraining. Oh, Archangel Michael. Archangel Michael. We love Archangel Michael. If you're having difficulty juggling the two, thinking about the two, wondering about which way to go, chuck it up to Mike. Chuck it up to Mike, especially during these Eclipsian times. We're working our way up to the lunar eclipse in Aquarius on the 27th. And Mercury going retrograde. I can't speak already, so for me it's already happening. Let me know. Leave me a comment in the comment section. Let me know. Okay, namaste, and I'll see you tomorrow.